hey guys and ladies welcome back to the channel appreciate the love appreciate the support man hey junior's twin hey they say everybody in the world got a twin man so hey we finna go see <laughs> see what junior twin look like man all right let's check this thing out man hey junior check out my new toy oh what is that it's a ball drone it costs 580 bucks my mom bought it for me he said 580 bucks why does it cost $580? <laughs> because it flies, it lights up, it plays music. This is some military-grade shit we're talking about here. The public <laughs> doesn't even have these yet. I had to beg my mom to get it. I told her I didn't even want anything for Christmas, just this. It's made of steel and titanium, and it's completely indestructible. Well, I want to see it fly. Okay, check this out. <clears throat> I said, oh. check this out. Ow. <laughs> God, it hit me in the okay. face. <laughs> it's still pretty cool, though, right? I want to see it fly. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> it's broke. <laughs> it broke. It's my what? That was my one toy. <laughs> oh, my dad's coming. <laughs> hey, this is one thing I loved about the answer man. man. Uh, the guys and ladies that playing these characters, man, they have the great time. As you can tell, man, if you listen closely, man, you can hear them giggling, laughing at the same time, man. That's the beauty uh, of, you know what I'm saying, create your own tent. You can have fun with it, and you can tell they enjoy what they're doing. Pretty cool, though, right? I want to see it listen. fly. Okay. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> it's my what? <laughs> that was my one toy. Oh, my dad's coming. <laughs> Junior! What's wrong, Dad? Look, there's something I have to tell you. So have oh, a seat. Sad. This is going to be a tough one. Are you sick? No, it's worse than that. Are you dying? Oh, I wish I was. Look, Junior, <laughs> you have a twin brother. I have a twin brother? Yeah, when you were born, there were actually two of you. But I was going to pay child support for two kids. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> so I shipped your twin brother to London, home of the Briz. Well, what? can I meet him? Yeah, he's actually coming to visit for a week. <gasps> When's he going to be here? Looks like that's him. So have wow. fun. <laughs> wow. So he actually do have a twin brother. Not just a look like he actually born with another twin. That's crazy. Cody, I have a twin brother. Yeah, I wonder if he's hot. Well, he looks just like me. Yeah, so he's probably hot. Well, hold on. Let me oh, go answer the hey, door. No. Hello. Hey, no. Would you look at it? If it isn't my <laughs> twin brother, Junior. How's it going, bro? Oh, well, Dad said my twin brother was coming, and I have never met you before, so what's your name? Name's Nigel, but not like the form berries. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ain't that a who? A real knee slab, what that one is. Yeah, that's real funny. You know, it was a long way across the pond, isn't it? And that cheap, smug bastard dad oh, couldn't afford okay. first class. Had me sitting in coach next to a booger eating lily whacker, watching Puss and Boots the whole way here. Brave little key cat that one was, though. Fighting bad guys and such. But I'm being rude. You didn't invite me in for a biscuit, or maybe some bangers and mash, some beans on toast. What? Um. Yeah, come inside. <laughs> hey, he even got the whole accent and everything, man. He been over there so long, man. You need your brother here? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, who's this ugly mug? Oh, That's my friend Cody. Cody? What kind of name is Cody? What, is that something you hang your coat on? A Cody? <laughs> what are you Americans going to think of next? A shirty? Maybe a trousy? He definitely talking a lot, man, for meeting his twin brother. But for the first time, he talked him the uh, uh, hell of a lot. Never heard of a Cody before. That's hard to believe. There's quite a few of us. Cody, that's a new one. Yeah, well, we usually do make fun of Cody, but we usually make fun of his fat mom. Oh, you oh, like mum jokes? I got a great mum joke I heard in the market the other day. Cody, your mum's ass is so wide. No, no, so fat, actually. The tourists mistake it for the Big Ben, taking pictures with it and such. <laughs> You, you mean like the clock? Yeah, like the clock, Cody! Okay, uh, what's his name, Junior? Nigel. Nigel? <laughs> what, like, uh -oh. like Nigel Thornberry? Yeah, like the cartoon. Oh, okay. Well, wh where are you from, Nigel? Oh, I'm from London, isn't it? Oh, well, what do you guys do in London? Oh, I see how it is. You think, just because I'm from London, all I do all day is sit around and watch Harry Potter on the telly! Oh. Cody! I, I don't know. That's why I asked. You know, he is aggravating. I, he's he getting on my nerves already. <laughs> already. It's a bit nippy in here, isn't it? Maybe you should go grab your coat off the coaty. Coaty. Yeah, okay, I get it. Junior, how long you say Annoying. he was going to be in town for? Maybe a week. Okay, I'll just see you at school tomorrow. Exactly. He definitely is annoying. Coming in and just talking, talking, yapping, yapping, yapping. You know, 
I like him. A right bloke he is. Hey, dude, you want to play Fortnite? Not right now, Joseph. I'm hanging out with my twin brother. Wait, you have a twin brother? Oh, who's this bloke with the basketball on his shirt? LeBron James, is that you? Sprite <laughs> Cranberry? Isn't that what you drink? Sprite Cranberry, like on the commercials? Dude, Sprite my name's Cranberry. Joseph. Joseph? Reminds me of my nan, Josephine. She made a mean pee and crumpets. Oi, Joseph, is your favourite colour green? Wait, how do you know that, dude? It's all over your fit, bruv. Oh, dude, why is he talking like that? Listen, Joseph, look, I'll just hang out with you at school tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later then. Where's Cody? With that Jeffy coming there, he's gonna have a, a, a wool waking. With Jeffy coming there. Oh, Miss Cody! Listen, Nigel, I have to go to school tomorrow, so let's go to sleep. Yeah, I'm a bit knackered from that long flight. Trying to hit the sack, in it? Yeah, but sack, oh, it? I got an idea. Nigel, we look exactly the same. Oh, so you could go to school for me, and I can stay at home all day and play video games. Yeah, that's a good idea. That way the British keep getting smarter while the Americans stay dumber. I gotta tell Joseph about this. Joseph, are you still in the house? Yeah, dude. I was laying on the floor behind your couch. Why? But dude, it's super comfy. Duh. Well, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to be at school this week. Nigel's going to go for me. Wait, wait, why? Because he looks just like me, and I can skip mm. the whole week. How many of y'all wish I had a twin, man? And what were some of the things you will do or would do if you had a twin? I couldn't imagine, you know, having a twin. Man, I see a lot of movies with uh, twin, twin brothers, twin sisters do some crazy things when it comes to dating, school, switching places, their jobs. A lot of things you could do by having a twin, man. I believe at one point everybody wished they had a twin, man. That would be fun, though, man. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to call Cody and tell him. Oh, dude, dude, he's laying on the floor behind your couch, too. What, Cody? Yeah. What are you doing? I was laying down behind your couch. Why? Dude, it's comfy. Yeah, it's really comfy. Yeah, dude. very comfy, dude. Oh, well, that's weird. Listen, guys, I'm not going to be at school this week. Nigel's going to go for me so I can stay at home and play video games. <sighs> Junior, don't make us hang out with him. Yeah, dude, I don't like his accent. Well, listen, it's only for a week, and I want a week off of school. So just, just play with him and hang out with him tomorrow, okay? <sighs> okay. All right, Krauss, today in American history, we're going to be learning about the Boston Tea Party. The British were bringing a bunch of tea over to America, and they were taxing the shit out of it. And <laughs> this is the <laughs> wrong time to have uh, a Cody twin come to school. The Americans got pissed and dumped it all in the water. So to this day, if you go to Boston Harbor and you drink it's the water, be bad. it tastes like tea. Boy, what a load of rubbish talking about the Boston Tea Party oh. like that. More like when the Americans threw a bloody fit over a little bit of spilt tea. Hey man, don't look at me, I wasn't there. You know, speaking of spilt tea, I might fancy a cup of right now. Anyone got a fag? Right here. I'm not talking about you, you stinky Brit, I'm talking about a ciggy. <laughs> oh man, of course that means cigarette, man. In the US, I only know it for, you know, one thing. <laughs> so that's crazy. Oh, no, I don't smoke. Dude, he's starting to get real annoying. Oh, yeah. pipe down, you bloody wankers. At least in the UK, our schools ain't shooting simulators. He kind of has a point, dude. And then after the Boston Tea Party was the Revolutionary War, where the Americans bent over the British and made the British their bitch. Oh, <laughs> what a load of cord swallow. I mean, come on, bugger off. If it weren't for those stinking Frenchmen coming in with their French fries, all you bloody Americans mm -hmm. will be pledging allegiance to the Queen. Queen died. Oh, put a sock in it. The Queen's just waiting to win the gulag against Betty White to come back. Oh, and then after the Revolutionary War, we erected our first president, George Washington. He's on the one dollar bill because he's number one. You mean the bloke with the disgusting wooden yellow teeth? If you Americans had free health care, he'd be rocking pearly whites like mine. I really can't say anything. All right, Cross, that does it for today's lesson. So go around and brag about all the American history you learned today. A good day. That's the end of a school day. A little short, isn't it? That's why you bloody Americans are so stupid with your summer vacations. He be talking reckless, man. He coming to the U.S. and just talking reckless, man. Meet somebody from the first time, your own twin. Oh my goodness, he, boy, he need to go back. Guys, what's wrong with Junior? That's, That's not- Oh, look at this end. What? Oh, you want a snog? Excuse me? Or oh, if you let me take you out, I'll be chuffed a bit. Um, no. Well, whatever, you stinky moggy. Okay. Well, Junior, that was harsh, I think. You want to go play some cricket? You mean baseball, dude? Yeah, come on. 
Okay. Oh, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Beat my mother with it? Or whatever you Americans do with your anger problems and depression? What the oh, fuck is he talking goodness. about? I don't know, dude. I've been blocking him out the whole time. It, it's a baseball bat. You just hit the ball with it. This ain't no bloody cricket. Come on, let's play a man's <laughs> game. <laughs> it's American baseball. Nothing but men play this sport. Throw the ball, Cody. Yeah. Oh, what kind of throw is that? You throw like a sissy. You like a sissy. <laughs> Dude, that was a pretty okay. bad throw. Well, you throw it then. Uh, okay, the with watch it. this. Uh. Oh, okay. Wow, dude, he actually hit a home run. God damn it, now we're never gonna hear the end of it. Oh, you say that? I'm blasting it over the bloody fence. I'm better at an American sport than you wankers are. Now who's got a bottle of water? I'm bloody parts. Like you stupid Americans say in your Christmas song with the pear trees. Oi, thanks for a bottle of water. He is annoying. He is annoying, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure, man. <laughs> He talking more than about throughout the whole video. Oh, man. So you guys had a fun time hanging out with Nigel today? Kill me. Junior, he's the most annoying person I've ever met. But he hasn't called me Cody all day, and I think he forgot. Cody, can you pass me that bottle of water, yeah, dude? Man. Cody! I almost forgot your name is Cody! Hey, Joseph! Can you believe this bloke's name is Cody? Oh, wait till you find out his last name, dude. Oh, what's your last name, Cody? Nobody tell him my last name. Oh, come on, Cody! Yeah. Give us a laugh! Come on, Cody! We gotta know! Yeah, Cody! <laughs> yeah, Cody! It's oh, not kiss. Yeah! Not kiss! <laughs> Oh, you oh my gay? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, we're right then. Dude, you sound like the gecko from the Geico commercial. Oh, you mean like switching to Geico can save you 15% or yelling? more on car insurance? Why is he yelling, man? Yeah, but way more obnoxious. You know, all this yelling's got me a bit famished. How about we go grab some grub? Oh, Junior, has he oh. met Chef Pee yet? Chef Pee Pee? Like penis? Yeah. Oh, we're right then. Yeah, let's go meet Chef Pee Nigel. Mm -mm, make it the keto. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, is this Chef Penis? Junior, why is there two of you? Oh, this is my twin brother, Nigel. Wait, twin brother? Oh, no, I quit. I can't deal with two of you, hell no. <laughs> now I understand why he was making the quittos. Because he quit. You know, before he oh, left, okay. he should have hung up his coat on the Cody. <laughs> Oh, I really man, wish we could eat McDonald's. Crazy. Oh, just get me some car keys and me and Cody will drive there. Wait, do you even have a license? No, but I drove me Nan's lorry all the time. Come on. Man, American cars are weird with a steering wheel on the left-hand side. Are you driving on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> Cody must have forgot. Hey, they drive on the opposite side of the road. Going down the wrong way. Yeah, how about you drive on the right side of the road? Screw your American driving laws. The left side of the road is much better. You guys use miles instead of kilometers too, you bloody idiots. Yeah, yeah okay, <laughs> can, can we just get on the right side of the road before you kill someone? All right, fine. Why don't you ready? Oi, Gov, can I got a kitty meal fish fillet of chips with Dr. Pepper, a froggy in a hammock with a little bit of toad in a hole, and don't forget my tartar sauce with my piggies in a blanket? It's not a pepper's good, isn't it, Cody? I wouldn't know. I just got chocolate Cody. milk. It has a mustache on it. Oh, yeah, and I also got my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, so everyone can shut the hell up about that. How's your fish for? <laughs> he had to put that in there. Somebody must have come in like, hey, what happened to the medium french fry? <laughs> hey, I guess he told him. I guess he told him. Milk. It has a mustache on it. Oh, yeah, and I also got my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, so everyone can shut the hell up about that. How's your fish filet, <laughs> Nigel? I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I heard you Americans put a lot of preservatives in it to make you fat and greasy. Kind of like your mother, Cody. You know, it's getting a little bit nippy in here. My nips could cut through glass right now. If only someone could hand me a coat. How about you, Cody? Oh, uh, actually, goodness. you know what, Nigel? How about we play a game we only play here in America? All right, what's the game? The game is called Get in the Box. Okay. All right, how do you play? Ship you just back. get in the box, and whoever can stay in the box the longest wins. All right, what's in it for me? Uh, I'll give you a lolly. Ooh, what flavor lolly? Uh, it doesn't matter. Just get in the box. All right, I love lollies. Yeah, that's great. That's All right, what do I do now? You just stay in the box, and then I'll close it. <laughs> Good thinking, Cody. Put them in a box. He already got the shipping label and all the, and everything, man. <laughs> yeah, now we just have to send him back to London so I never have to hear <laughs> Cody ever again. <laughs> He's really still going. Oh, he just doesn't goodness. know when to quit. Yeah, just go drop this box off at the UPS and send him to London. Okay, I will. Come on, Nigel. <clears throat> Boy, crazy. Boy, what country are you from? Oh, man, this was, uh, uh, 
Definitely was annoying. I ain't even gonna lie to you, boy. Hearing his voice throughout 90% of the video was was tough to, to listen to. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Mm, them corny uh, Cody jokes was definitely terrible, man. <laughs> All right, man. Well, as you can see, we definitely ain't gonna see his twin brother never again because he, he don't want to have him back, man. Junior's twin. There we have it, guys. All right, Whew. I'm going to rest my ears because he was yelling like crazy in my ears at the same time. All right, well, appreciate the love. Appreciate the support, guys. Hey, so he, he found out Junior had a twin, but uh, based off this episode, we'll never see his twin again, and I'm 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 not mad about that. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll see you all on the next one, man. Thanks for the support, man. Y'all have a good one.